The VivoBook Pro OLED and the higher spec VivoBook Pro X OLED series are two of the latest laptop offerings from Asus targeted towards creatives and creators and I'm here to talk about them. These laptops are slim, ultra portable and suitable for anyone looking for great looking yet powerful laptops for the day to day creative work. Hi guys, Henry here. If you're in the market for a new laptop and you're confused about what to get, then you should watch this video to the end because this might just be where your search ends. So the Asus VivoBook Pro X series comes in four models, sporting, Intel processors and AMD processors. So you're pretty much covered for options depending on whichever one you want to pick. To list them out, there's a 14 inch AMD and a 14 inch Intel model and there's also a 16 inch AMD version and a 16 inch Intel version. So there's plenty of options to choose from. The VivoBook 14X Pro OLED and the 16X have practically the same design. And the main difference between both of these laptops are the screen size. As you already know, they're both 14 inch and 16 inch screens and they have the same IO ports, which consist of one USB 3.2 Thunderbolt 4 type C port, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A port, two USB 2.0 ports, one HDMI port, one SD card reader and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. They both support the same keyboard chassis design with identical ventilation and cooling design. Although the VivoBook 16 X Pro OLED is slightly thicker at 18.99 millimeters and also heavier at 1.95 kilograms against 1.4 kilograms on the 14X. Specifications, I've been mostly pleased with the specs and performance on both of these laptops. So depending on which model you go for, you'd be getting a 2.8K resolution screen on the 14 inch model and a 4K resolution on the 16 inch model. Both screens are nano edge OLED displays. You also have the option of getting any of these laptops with an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX mobile processor or an 11th generation Intel H series CPU. You can also get up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM on either of the processor variants. There's an upgradable M.2 2280 slot that can be configured with up to two terabytes of high speed SSD. You also get pretty huge batteries on both variants with a 96 watt hour high capacity battery on the 16 inch variant over here and a 63 watt hour battery on the 14 inch variant. So for specifications, trust me, you're pretty much covered. So you know, when I think of all the powerful specs that these laptops come with and just how thin they are, I can't help but marvel at how good technology has become. And to be honest, Asus has been delivering great laptops again and again. And you can check out my laptop review playlist to see what I'm talking about. The VivoBook series from Asus again just raises that bar on a sleek yet powerful laptop that can handle your everyday tasks and gaming needs beyond what you might think or imagine. So allow me to give you my experience with these laptops and what I really think about them. First things first, form factor. I like that Asus gives you two sizes here and if you're a very mobile person and want a light and easy to carry option, then the VivoBook 14X Pro is for you. But I personally prefer the 16 inch model because I'm a developer and it helps to have the larger screen size. If you're a gamer, and trust me, these laptops can totally game, you can get an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti graphics card in your unit depending on your purchase. I tried a couple of games and over the few hours of gaming, the laptop you know, it was relatively still cool. Now I know most of you wouldn't get these laptops for gaming, but just so you know, you can totally game with it if you want. As a creator, these laptops are designed to meet your everyday needs. Just so you know, I edited and exported this video you're watching on the 16 inch variant of this laptop. And here are the numbers on the screen for the rendering times. But the main feature that makes using these laptops so enjoyable is the screen. The OLED screen delivers true to life, vivid colors, and it's just perfect for my editing and color grading sessions. With the 4K resolution on the 16 inch model over here, everything looked crisp and spot on. High resolution videos on the screen was absolutely beautiful. I mean, 
you need to see it in person to appreciate the beauty and quality of these screens. There's hardly any fear of burning. I've used this for about a week now, and no, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Asus has also built in technology that helps micro shift the images on the screen ever so slightly to prevent image retention, which is also known as burning. Both laptops have an 86% screen to body ratio for a more immersive viewing experience. And the display on both devices cover the DCI-P3 color space and has peak brightness of up to 500 nits. The 14 inch model uses a 90 hertz panel, which makes things feel much smoother, while the 16 inch model over here uses a 60 hertz panel. However, there is a 120 hertz display panel 16 inch model, but that version has an IPS panel as against an OLED panel on these versions over here. So let me talk about the keyboard for a bit. The keyboards on the Vivo ProBook OLED series are identical on both the 14 and 16 inch models. And it's a much more comfortable experience on the 16 inch model. And this is just because it's much bigger. Now, this isn't to say it's a downside on the 14 inch model. It's just a bit smaller, but you get used to this in a few hours of using the keyboard. Key travel was great and it was satisfying. And Asus is absolutely great with the keyboards that they put on their laptop. On these laptops, the trackpads worked flawlessly and had precision tracking. I mean, every swipe and every tap you put in there just was delivered with accuracy. And from my ramblings, I'm sure you can already tell that I really, really enjoyed using this laptop. And yes, I think they offer incredible value and performance. And I think you'd be very pleased if you pick one up. Now, talking about the speakers and webcam, there's a 1080p webcam on both models of the Vivo Book, and it's decent. It's not the best um, webcam quality out there, but it does the job. And you also have a privacy shutter door for the webcam, so you don't have anyone snooping in on you. The speakers are quite loud, but the one on the 16 inch model sounds louder, and this can be attributed to the larger chassis on the 16 inch model. Now the battery life on both of these devices, you know, it's decent. I mean, if you're not doing anything intensive, you should be getting an average of about eight to nine hours on the 16 inch model and about six to seven hours on the 14 inch model. In my experience, the battery gets depleted faster when working with um, resource intense application like um, Adobe Premiere Pro. But if you're just writing code or watching a movie, you'd have absolutely solid battery experience on both of these devices and don't expect to charge up your device too frequently. So in conclusion, I'm really struggling to find a con with these devices and honestly, I can't fault them at all. But if I were to pick, and this will be me needs picking, it would just have to do with the shift key and the pipe key. I mean, they're really very close together. So every time I want to hit the shift key, I end up hitting the pipe key. But that's something very minute. After a few days of using this laptop, you get used to the key placements. Asus has built durable and good looking devices in the VivoBook Pro 14X and 16X OLED laptops. They look good. I mean, they perform decently and are great options for the creator out there. Look, if I thought anything was off with these devices, I would mention it. But these have almost no downsides, except for that, you know, that key placement I talked about with a shift key. Now, for pricing, there's a $200 difference between both models, and the 14-inch model goes for about $1,399, while the 16-inch model goes for about $1,549. If you're a creator, developer, gamer, or business person, the VivoBook Pro X series should be on your radar of consideration in your search for your next laptop. I think they're really well made, and I think you'll be happy with what you get. Guys, if you have any questions on the VivoBook Pro or X OLED series laptops, please leave them down in the comments section. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Cheers.